Hey YouTube, um, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. That compelled me to do a video, but I'm pretty much gonna wing this, so well, fair warning. I struggle with depression. I've struggled with depression for many years. Um, when I was growing up, I went through counseling a couple times, and that wasn't necessarily depression, but I definitely needed to seek counseling um, when I was in high school. I've struggled with an unhealthy relationship with food due to the depression, um, but it wasn't something that I really acknowledged until I was pregnant with Hunter. My biggest struggle with depression is almost four years ago. I was pregnant with Hunter and I hit a little boy on a bicycle <clears throat> at about five o'clock in the evening right when that sun was starting to come down. It was June 1st, 2006. Right after that, I it started going downhill. It wasn't until a full year later when the first anniversary came about when I was actually diagnosed with um, PTSD and I sought counseling. My life was in utter turmoil. I couldn't drive because of the accident. I couldn't fall asleep because of the memories. I had nightmares all the time. I had panic attacks, awful panic attacks that prevented me, from, even when I was driving, I would have these panic attacks, um, which was a huge problem. I sought counseling. Um, I was on medication for the anxiety and panic and things were fine until about last year. I just had a baby, we went through a move and just things started creeping back up. It was about last April, things went, things started going great, things went south, things were fine, things went south, and then went home in June, and things were pretty decent, I had a good support group back home. Um, then I got back here, and I kind of went downhill again, and then what I think started as seasonal depression just exploded. I'm a super cheerful person. I'm really giggly, really bubbly, and then all I was doing was crying. All I could feel was just heat, just pure, not anger. It, it was just always this huge buildup. Things just piled on. Everything was compounded. Anytime anything little went wrong, it was a big deal. Um, and I couldn't live like that. I felt it coming on. I remember what it felt like the first from the first time around and my life was awful again. My life was good, don't get me wrong. I've got a great life, but that's not how depression works. Depression isn't, oh, your circumstances aren't great, so you have things to be depressed about. Sometimes depression happens. It's not, sometimes it is what it is. I, w I was crying all the time. I felt no control over my thoughts and feelings. I was angry a lot. No, I'm always having to take care of my kids. I've always got to take care of my husband. I have to take care of my house. And that really built up on me. And it wasn't just the, um, it wasn't what you feel normally as a mother. Because I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, everybody feels that way. All moms feel that way. But I'm telling you, it's it was more than that. Everything sucked. Um, I felt like I couldn't trust anybody. I had no friends. I was, It was just a really low time in my life. So... What finally ended up happening is one day I slammed a door. I got really angry and I slammed a door and the glass door shattered. And do not call me a bad mother. Don't sit and do, oh, Teresa, I can't believe you did that. Because I'm. T it was a bad time in my life and I'm not proud of that. Um, but that was the turning point. I had my friend take my kids and I called the doctor. Immediately, I called the doctor that day and I got myself in and he was just like, this is absolutely depression. And I got prescribed Prozac. I'm on Prozac every day and um, that's when I decided that I needed to go home for sure. 
So, and then even I could feel the Prozac take effect. I mean, it wasn't immediately, it takes a while, but I could feel it take effect and my life changed completely. I am a 100% different person. I look with so much more clarity on things now. And I, it's going to be a lifetime struggle for me and I realize that. And I'm, but part of my recovery was to go home. Part of my healing was to go home and get that help from family. Um, and it didn't, it wasn't what I needed. I mean, in one sense, it was what I needed. I needed the support. I needed the help with the kids. But there's a lot going on back home that prevented it from being what I needed at the same time. So, I mean, there's a lot still unfixed. I came home. I thought things were great. And the doctor, before I had left, said, you know, when the three months is up, you can wean yourself off of it if you feel like things are going well. Well, that was a mistake. I started weaning myself off of it, and now I'm back on because it just, it wasn't the right time, you know. And um, now I'm, I've had panic attacks since I've been on it. So I got some more Xanax to help with that. The psychologist I'm seeing is evaluating me to um, figure out what the best course of treatment is. This, what I'm doing right now is a short-term thing, only to set me up for a long-term over the next year or so. Depression doesn't mean I'm stupid. It doesn't mean I'm a bad person. It doesn't mean I'm a bad mom. It doesn't make me a weirdo. I'm not weak. It doesn't mean that I don't know how to like handle my life. And I'm not like every other person with depression. We're not all created equal and there's different, different levels of it. It's a disease. It is treatable and unfortunately people do judge you on it. There's a horrible stigma to it. If you knew four months ago or whatever, you would have been like, oh, I'm not watching the crazy person. So I just, it's part of my life. It's part of who I am and I struggle with it. But this is just my story. Not every person's depression was kicked off by some sort of trauma. Not every person's depression is kicked off by family problems or abuse or anything. It's everybody's different. As a friend, it's your responsibility to recognize it as well. You need to talk to people. You need to be honest. If they need support aside from friends, you need to be willing to help them find that because it's not easy to talk about and it's not easy to acknowledge. So you need to be, as a friend, you need to be willing to say something. And I've got family who's, you know, willing to tell me, willing to be honest with me and that's good. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know, I felt compelled to do it. I wasn't, to have people take pity on me, it wasn't anything. It was just to kind of be aware. And maybe as my subscribers or viewers now, maybe you got to know me just a little bit more. You know, so. Anyway. Um, any questions? I'm willing to take them. I'm willing to answer. I'm willing to start a dialogue on this. So, just let me know. And I will talk to you all very soon again. Bye.